In an effort to prevent the risk of cancer for first responders, a community initiative is working to detect those signs early, which can save lives. Cronkite News reporter Amani Stevens learned more about the Joint Cancer Screening and Early Detection Program in the Valley. Amani? First responders put their lives on the front line, but sometimes they have to step back to take care of themselves. A Valley firefighter had to do just that after receiving a screening he says saved his life time. You know, if we can't prevent cancer, we can catch it. And that timing matters for Jason Underwood. This is the last kind of guy that you would expect to have cancer. After receiving a free screening in November, doctors with the Vincere Cancer Center said he had thymoma cancer because the day-to-day -day job duties put him and other first responders at a higher risk. We're exposed to a lot of different chemicals. When things burn, they put off different chemicals because they change composition and stuff. And then we're next to diesel engines running all day. And often the symptoms go unnoticed. And Jason is a result of that, 42 years old, in shape, asymptomatic, he found out he was diagnosed with a carcinogen or with an active form of cancer, and they were able to go in there and fix him. And now he is healthy, he's on a road to recovery. A shift in medical conditions that Underwood says first responders now deal with. When I started, the big thing was cardiac issues. People were dying from heart attacks because they're out there, they're not eating healthy, they're not taking care of themselves, they go out and exert themselves too much, and then obviously they have heart issues. Now it's switched to where more firefighters are dying from cancer than they are heart attacks. Today, he is most thankful he'll be there for moments he could have missed. That was probably the most stressful part of it. You know, just my family, my wife, and, and my kids thinking that I may not be there for him. The screenings are free of charge, and they started a first responder Friday where testing is available. Live in the control room, Imani Stevens, Cronkite News.